This short module discusses phased array radar systems. A phased array consists of several antennas that are controlled by a central computer. Unlike a traditional pulse radar, which has its antenna mounted on a rotating pedestal, a phased array is stationary, and the direction of the collective beam of the array is determined by the time lag between transmission between the antennas in the array. A delay in transmission at one end of the array, compared to the other, causes constructive and destructive interference that causes the beam to propagate into the direction of the last transmission. In this animation, the bottom antenna transmits first, followed immediately after the other antennas proceeding upward on the figure. In this example, the combined waveform moves at an angle toward the direction of the last antenna to transmit. All of the antenna are linked to the same transmitter and receiver, which is the box labeled TX, but each antenna is controlled by a different phase shifter that controls the phase of the emitted wave, such as to also contribute to the propagation direction of the combined transmitted waveform. The major advantage of a phased array radar system is its ability to scan in many directions in rapid succession without the need of moving an antenna around. A typical volume is collected every 5 to 15 minutes. Phased array radar are using multiple arrays facing different directions on the same platform, like maybe out of the top and or all the sides of this shape, can scan the same volume in less than one minute. An example of a phased array radar in Oklahoma is seen here with the protective radome pulled up. While this radar has a rectangular shape, radars can also have different shapes with multiple surfaces containing small phase arrays. This one we see one face of the system and the phase array antennas sticking out from the box a little bit. An example of Doppler velocities seen by this phase array radar compared to those detected using WSR-88D in the same storm are seen at far right. In the top panel, the same supercell is observed almost simultaneously. These two panels are three seconds apart. Over the next five minutes, the phased array radar captures a volume of the supercell four times before the WSR-88D again scans the cell at a low elevation angle. Within those few minutes, dual counter-rotating tornado vortex signatures were seen by the phased array radar. By the time the WSR-88D scanned the area again, the signatures had weakened. Thus, the phased array radar enables more rapid and consistent detection of short-lived events that the WSR-88D, the weather service radars, may miss altogether. An example of the phased array radar data collected during the 2013 El Reno tornado is seen here. The EF3 El Reno tornado contained some of the most powerful winds ever recorded in a tornado, and these winds were obtained via mobile Doppler radar. What we're seeing here is a, the fixed phased array radar from the last slide. Here is shown the radar reflectivity factor, updated roughly once per minute. Again, the te temporal resolution provided by phased array is far superior to standard WSR-88D. In the future, the radar network in the U.S. may be replaced by phased arrays as they become more affordable. And there you can see the tornado wrapping into the supercell. And notice how the phase array can very quickly adapt, shifting to look at different sectors tracking the storm. The diagram shown here summarizes the many capabilities of phased array radar. It can rapidly perform surveillance PPI-like scans, like a rotating radar, but can also be committed to tracking certain features of interest in numerous narrow sectors over very short amounts of time such as when tracking aircraft or observing individual clouds that may develop into storm cells or observing those cells or smaller features within them like tornadoes. Uh, the ability to scan all of these things without having a physically moving antenna allows for a rapid and almost simultaneous uh, observations of all of these features.